Hey everyone, um, so I was reading an article today and it made me realise something. So it was a post, it was about that video game that was released a while ago that had a trans background character and everyone was pissed off about it. And reading the comments and stuff, I now realise why people don't like trans people. You see, because we exist, they just feel that our mere existence is pushing, is pushing social justice issues. Our existence offends people, and I think that is horrible. Like, they put a character in a video game, they were trans. Um, it was an additional piece of dialogue, the character was in no way a main character in any way, shape or form. You'd have to really look for them to find them. And they just, you know, they, they, they mentioned it like, oh yeah, blah 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 blah, when I was born they thought I was a boy. Um, and everyone was outraged, like, oh, by including a trans character they're pushing their social agenda or whatever. And it's like, no. It's like this person's just there, it's just like real life, there's a trans person there. Like, it makes me actually think that when I tell people that I'm trans because I'm open about it and I tell everybody that I'm trans, pretty much, being non-binary and stuff, I tell people and I'm now beginning to wonder, do they feel like I'm pushing social issues on them just by existing? Ugh. I think it's disgusting how people can be this way. Um, I don't understand why people can hate us just for being us, for, for, for you know, for being alive. That's what a lot of the issues are about. You know, people are like, oh, they're all perverts, blah, 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 blah. Bear in mind, it's normally religious people that call us the perverts, and then, then, it, then it gets found out that they've been pedos, which is kind of weird, you know. It's like, if I if I ever get a kid, I'm not, I would trust them in, the, in, like, bathrooms of trans people, but I wouldn't trust them in the bathrooms of priests and politicians. But the point is, I mean, it's like, I exist, why is my existence so offensive to you? I don't get offended that you exist. I just don't understand it, really, at all. It's just... How can somebody's life be so offensive to somebody? Hopefully it'll improve though, like... People are giving us the same reaction, us as in trans people, people are giving us the same reaction um, now as what they used to give when black people were included. Well, black, well, yeah, black, well, uh, sorry. Recently it's been gay people being included in media as proper characters, like TV shows and games and stuff. Before that it was the black people. Um, it's like with any minority, people want the minorities in their games and media and TV shows and movies, as long as they can laugh at them. If they're a... If they're a comical stereotype of what the person is, then they think, ah, oh... Oh, those... Those black rascals, or... Oh, there's that queer man, oh, he's so funny. And, ah, there's a tranny, ah, they've got a dick. You know, it's like, really? Grow the fuck up. So they get generally upset when they when there's any inclination that we're actually people. They they want to think that we're some sort of funny thing. But I actually had someone on my Facebook, my personal Facebook, a while ago. And um, they used to know me when I was at my work. Well, they used to know me. They didn't used to know me. They used to be a co-worker when I used to have a job. And um, back before I transitioned and everything. Um, and they got into an argument with me because. They were annoyed that everything I post is upsetting and depressing, or uh, not everything that I post, but a lot of my posts were upsetting and depressing. Um, I am I share a lot of my news articles about issues going on with trans people and stuff, so I see a lot of what goes on in the world. Um, and, and she was just upset that this, this this trans person isn't a lovable, funny character. She want um, it was like, it's like I know I. I knew you before. I'm like, no, you didn't fucking know me before you before I transitioned. You were simply somebody who worked behind a cash register at the shop that I worked at. You knew of me, but I never ever spoke to you. Then you somehow managed to follow me on Facebook. But it's true. Uh, cis people tend to want 
us to be fun characters that are in their lives, like freaking, like a lot of people that like used to want to hang out with me. This isn't aimed at anyone in particular, it's just an observation I've made about some people. Some people would used to want to hang out with me all the time, until they found out I'm just a normal person like them. And then, um, you know, it, that seemed to be boring, and it's like, oh, okay. It's like they want us to be characters, even in real life, not just in media, and I think it's ridiculous. Anyway, this has been a rant that's been way longer than I expected it to be, and I've tilted my phone up the wrong way again. I need to learn to tilt it the other way. So I'm going to have to put some sort of frame around it and make it pretty or some shit. Um, so yeah, sorry about that, I'll learn to hold my phone the right way when I'm doing videos. It's just more comfortable this way. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'll be making more content now that I've got an easier way to um, film it and stuff. Because it's a little bit more difficult with my camera because it means transferring memory cards to computer. Someone keeps messaging me. It's whenever I'm making videos, people message me. That's not your computer going beep beep, it's mine because... For some reason, I'm always really popular when I'm making videos. Oh well. Um, yeah, so till next time, Trash Girlie me out.